Hi, um, Craig Gillette with Velvet Revolution and Bradblog.com. President Bush mentioned Iran very specifically last night, mentioned moving another aircraft carrier group into the region. Is there reports of Israelis' air force training to bomb Iran? Is there anything you all are maybe addressing that, maybe in the rallies or something about he may be trying to stay in the area because he's, he's always been thinking of going to Iran, the neighbor to Iraq? You know, uh, as a veteran coalition builder, what we try to do is we try to unite people on those things that we agree on. Obviously, that's a little bit deeper. Your question is a little bit deeper than we've asked deep participants to, to, and I'm sure some would have some answer to it, but we are all united on one thing. We are all united on the escalation of effort that the president is proposing, regardless of what the outcome is. And so again, to the extent that we are united as far as escalation is concerned. Hopefully that meets the answer to the question. Thank you so much. One more way if you want to do Tom wants to talk because he's a former congressman. <laughs> I just want to say that there's at least one group among the group, groups here, Women Without War, that's talked a lot about this and has voted as a coalition to incorporate your land into its agenda. We're very, very concerned about this. And the Congress has the, the, the power uh, to not only deal with the situation in Iraq, but also to prevent and, and, and establish a, a, as a parameter around any appropriation service um, a prohibition of expanding this war into, uh, into Iran. And, and it's outrageous that this president would say what he did last night, those very um, clear threats uh, to Iran militarily, uh, in direct contradiction to what the Iraq study group has been urging them to do, and what the vast majority of Americans believe we should be doing, and that is engaging with Iran, and engaging with Iraq. You know, Lee Hamilton told me, well, look, you know, during the, the, the depths of the Cold War, during the, the, the absolute worst points of the Cold War, this country never stopped talking to Moscow. Now, if we can talk to Moscow during the depths of the Cold War, we can talk to Iran and Syria and Syria.